Hey yo guys, Liam here from Insanity Game UK, and welcome to another How to Minecraft. So this time we're looking at slide and piston doors. Uh, all you'll need for them is redstone, a redstone repeater, uh, in fact, even a redstone repeater, why have I got those there? Redstone torch, and whatever blocks you like, sticky pistons, and pressure plates. So first you have to do a T-shape like this, which is three across, then four down. Redstone all the way across, like that, then just take out one block, and you put a block there. A torch on top, a block on top of that, and then some redstone dust. Then all you do is put a block across both the ends of the T, so you put pressure plates on those, and then two sticky pistons there and there, and they open and close just like that. It's really very simple. So all you gotta do where the sticky pistons are is put blocks that will move. Uh, I think granite and there's a couple of others, uh, not granite, sorry, obsidian uh, won't move, so you can't really use that, but I'm just using stone, just basically show you guys how it works. So. This is how you'd see it in a normal scenario. Obviously, it's completely covered up like that. Uh, then you'd have a wall to the other side and a little tunnelway. Obviously, without blocks there, you can't. You can just see through. But when you put the blocks there, it's like, oh, you can't see a doorway. So you step on the pressure plate, and boom, it disappears. So this, this is the really, obviously, very simple version. Uh, you can do it with things like bookcases to make secret sliding rooms and things. But yeah, it's really that simple. So onto the double sliding doors now. Do the same again, but you do two opposite T's. So, instead of doing one like the previous one, you do one like that, and then same again the other side. Uh, block, it has to be too deep, so don't forget to do that. Uh, you go across again with the redstone, either side as well. And then you place a block, either side again. Redstone torch, a uh, block on top of the redstone torch, and redstone dust on top of that. Place your pistons again. It's really very simple. And all you've got to do then is put blocks over it to cover up. As you can see, it's all covered up now. You can't see the redstone underneath. Pressure plates either side, and it opens both of them. It doesn't matter which one you step on. If you don't step in the middle, it'll open both of them. So, there you go. You keep those covered up as well, so you can't see them. It won't really be an issue anyway once you put the blocks there in the middle, but it's just to cover it all up. And there you go. Seamless door. It works really well. I've used this in a uh, fair few builds, and I've used it actually to hide stuff from other people as well. So, it's it's from you can use them for a lot of different things. But there you go. It's really that simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.